Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of iOS as well as jailbreaking. But first, today would have been Steve Jobs' 61st birthday, so thank you so much, Steve, for all of your incredible contributions to the world of technology. Now, yesterday, Apple did something kind of unexpected and something they haven't done previously. They gave us insight as to iOS's release cycle, and they may have inadvertently given us all we need to piece together iOS 9.3's public release date, which, as most of you know, the jailbreak developers are likely waiting waiting for iOS 9.3 before issuing the next untethered jailbreak. For information on that, definitely check out the links I have down below in the more info for you. I will also have something on your screens now via the cards as well as the annotations. Essentially, it's the smart thing to do to wait for iOS 9.3 because iOS 9 development will start to slow soon since we are on the cusp of iOS 10's unveiling as well as its first beta, which of course will occur in June, so just over three months. Again, for all the information on that, check out the coverage that I have linked for you. Now, it's going to kind of sound like I'm diverging from jailbreaking a little bit, but that's only because we have to kind of piece together iOS 9.3's potential release date first. So let's start with some background information before getting into the news. Ever since the first beta of iOS 9.3, testers started to notice something rather weird with the Apple Pencil. It seemed like Apple had completely removed using the device for navigation. So in iOS 9.3 beta 1 up to the current beta, beta 4, which was issued this Monday, you're no longer able to use the Apple Pencil for selecting text, scrolling, swiping between applications, accessing menus, and general editing functions in non-drawing specific applications. So let me give you a quick example. You can still use it for tapping, but that's pretty much it. See, I can no longer use it to actually scroll here inside of Safari, and you can tell that I am pushing pretty hard. It's definitely making contact, and it just doesn't scroll. So we can tap back here. I can scroll with my finger, of course, since that is the regular input form, but I cannot scroll, and here, inside of multitasking, I also cannot switch between applications. Everyone was under the impression that the limited functionality of the Apple Pencil inside of the latest round of betas was intentional to keep the focus of the device on the whole artistic aspect of it in general. But it appears as though that's the furthest thing from the truth according to an Apple spokesperson who is quoted in a recent article actually from last night on The Verge. So what I'm going to read now is a direct quote from said spokesperson. Quote, we believe a finger will always be the primary way users navigate on an iPad, but we understand that some customers like to use Apple Pencil for this as well, and we've been working on ways to better implement this while maintaining compatibility during this latest beta cycle. We will add this functionality back in the next beta of iOS 9.3. So essentially, Apple confirmed that this week's version of iOS 9.3 being beta 4 will receive a successor, so we will actually get iOS 9.3. 9.3 beta 5 before the public version is released. So now we know there's going to be another beta, we know what Apple's going to do, and we can kind of try to pinpoint the possible release of 9.3 based on two rumors. Number one, iOS 9.3 is said to be released in March. We know for a fact it's coming in the spring, but according to 9to5Mac, iOS 9.3 will make its grand appearance in March, and it will be accompanied alongside OS 10.11.4, the latest version again, of Mac OS X. Now, the second rumor being that Apple will hold an all-new iPhone 5 SE and iPad Air 3 announcement event on March 15th. And provided those rumors hold true and Apple is actually going to release the 5SE and iPad Air 3 expected on March 18th, that gives us about three weeks to work with. Apple usually likes to push out new firmwares and new devices around the same time and release those devices with the latest firmware, similar to what happened with the iPad Pro and iOS 9.1. Now, public versions of iOS are usually released on Tuesdays and beta versions on Mondays. That seems to be the current trend since both iOS 9.2.1 1 and iOS 9.2 were released on a Monday and all of the iOS 9.3 betas have dropped on Tuesdays two weeks following one another. Now, that may break since we only have three weeks to work with, so it is very possible that iOS 9.3 Beta 5 could be released one week from Beta 4's release date, so that would put it at 
February 29th, or they could still wait two weeks and push it out on March 7th. But considering they may only have to add Apple Pencil support since the fourth beta merely changed the night shift icon inside of Control Center, seems like they're pretty much done with most of the changes for iOS 9.3. It could actually be expedited and they could release the fifth beta just one week from beta four. Well, since the rumored four inch iPhone 5SE or iPhone 6E and iPad Air 3 event will supposedly commence on March 15th, that's actually a Tuesday. It is possible that the firmware will be released after the event. So March 15th seems like a viable release date for iOS 9.3, but what about jailbreaking? Well, since the developers are going to wait for iOS 9.3 and it appears as though that is the firmware they're targeting, provided they have everything ready, it will take about one to two weeks following the release of iOS 9.3, provided they're targeting it and they have everything complete, as I mentioned previously, to ready their utility and release it to the masses. So that puts it at about the end of March, somewhere between the week of the 21st and the 28th. Of course, the week of the 28th goes all the way up to April 1st, though, which is, of course, the last Friday of the month. Now keep in mind that the information in this video is speculative. We are going off of one report concerning iOS 9.3 beta and two rumors talking about unreleased devices as well as iOS 9.3 arriving in March. From there, of course, we pinpointed iOS 9.3's potential release date and we can try to do the same for a jailbreak since jailbreak utilities are usually released about one to two weeks following the firmware that they're actually going to target. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Of course, I will keep you guys updated absolutely every step of the way anytime new developments occur in the realm of jailbreaking. So be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you will be notified. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you're excited for the next jailbreak. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, the actual dates are subject to change and if they do, I will keep you informed. Remember, there's so many factors that go into not only releasing new versions of iOS, but also new jailbreaks. So regardless, I'll keep you updated and fully informed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.